Oh, this book is fascinating. It chronicles the stages of your life by decades. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Women in their 30s often lie about their age. Oh, I know so many women like that. Mm. <laughs> Here's me, the 20s. <laughs> oh, Niles, how did you handle midlife crisis back when you were in your 40s? I think I killed someone who lied about being in their 20s. You two are not going to believe this. I got a message on my answering machine. Oh, my God, crack the champagne. <laughs> I am so happy for you, dear. Very funny, Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Maxwell is quitting the theater. Oh. He is a classic textbook case. If Maxwell leaves the theater, what am I going to do? Oh, you were born rich. Retire. Go spend time with all your friends, and when you come back, you can lick the spoon. <laughs> oh, look, Dr. Brothers said it'll probably pass. I mean, at least it's not like when my father went through his midlife crisis. He wanted Ma to get into swinging. What happened? Well, the other swingers saw them. <laughs> Brandon, you gotta hide me quick. What? What's hey, wrong? Max! What do you say we hit our records, eh? <laughs> Cruise the bins. Brandon, help me. Help me so much. <clears throat> Mr. Sheffield. Maggie cannot go to the record store because I caught her smoking and drinking. What? You are grounded for three weeks, young lady. Oh, thank you, Dad. <laughs> She's not over this by then. I'll tell him you're pregnant. Maxwell, I'm only saying this because I'm thinking of you. Why are you doing this to me? Cece, life is short. You should go back to doing what you did when you were young. Oh, sir, there's so little call nowadays for Civil War nurses. <laughs> Babcock, you're being so selfish. I mean, this man is questioning the very meaning of his life. <gasps> you dyed your gray streak? What the hell is wrong with you? I happen to like it. I think it takes 10 years off. Catch you later, babe. That was my gray streak. I caused it, and it was mine to remove. <laughs> Were those Brighton's jeans? Oh. oh, I'll tell you, it is so pathetic seeing someone trying to desperately recapture their youth by dyeing their hair and wearing skin-tight clothes. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't be so hard on him. I mean, who knows? Someday the same thing could happen to me. 